Hey Sansi, of recent, there have been so many rumors already spreading all over social media about the South African Minister of Police, Mr. Becky Kale, and of course, I keep wondering why him. He is the head of the police sector, but then again, his name keeps patrolling on social media for just the wrong reasons. And apparently, it was posted that the jail doors are slowly but surely opening up already for Mr. Becky Trele as Saps whistleblower has exposed some very damning 47 million rand standard fraud. Make sure to watch this video so you are going to understand all what is ongoing already. Before giving you all the entire information, kindly subscribe to this channel, like this video, drop a comment and hit on to my post notification bell. Patricia Marshall, a whistleblower from the South African Police Service, who has been living in exile due to an alleged claiming of life attempt by African National Congress politicians, has definitely decided to come ahead with a very incited revelation. Marshall claims to possess some very incited evidence already about the South African Minister of Police, who happens to be the former police national commissioner and current Minister of Police, Mr. Becky Trelle. And this is all about him approving a deal that was not in the line with the Public Finance Management Act. And according to the law, it is a very damning cause that can send him to prison. Patricia Morgan Marshalle had this to say, and I quote, Jail door is gradually opening for Mr. Becky Trelle after businessman exposed his secrets. Toshan Pandey, a businessman, is currently on trial in the Durban High Court for his alleged involvement in racketeering, fraud and corruption in connection with a 47 million rand tender for the South African Police Service, lodging during the 2010 Soccer World Cup. Pandey, who is one of four co-accused, has recently claimed that he has evidence that former Police National Commissioner Mr. Becky Trelle approved the deal. I also have the evidence that Trelle approved the deal after he was made aware that it is not in line with the Public Finance Management Act, according to what Patricia Morgan Marshalle posted and I quoted. The revelation resurfaced during the ongoing trial of the businessman Toshan Pandey in the Durban High Court already. The tender in question was so awarded to Pandey's company, Gold Coast Trading, for providing so much accommodation already and providing so much services to police officers during the entire World Cup period. Along the line, so many allegations suggest that the tender was fraudulently obtained, with inflated prices and illegal payments made to officials involved. Pandey's defense team now argues that he acted as a middleman and that senior police officials, including Trelle, approved the deal. They claim to possess incriminating emails and recordings that support Trelle's knowledge and approval of the arrangements allegedly. Trelle, who is currently serving as the Minister of Police, has vehemently denied any involvement in the tender process allegedly. He dismisses Pandey's claims as an attempt to shift blame and maintain that he had no knowledge of corrupt activities or any role in the tender process. Trelle's steadfast denial and Marshall's allegation have so much intensified already the significance of the trial, as it now serves as a crucial test of South Africa's anti-corruption effort within both the government and the business sector. You will tell me in the comment section, without necessarily judging, what you think about all what is ongoing already and what has been revealed allegedly about the South African Minister of Police, Mr. Becky Trelle. I'm going to be reading you all and of course, I will reply to each and every one of your comments. I love you all from the bottom of my heart and do well to come back for more just vibes.